<laughs> Can I move on to the next one? Yes, yeah, the member for Fish Oath Call. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Deputy Speaker, on behalf of the Joint Standing Committee on Foreign Affairs, Defence and Trade, I present the committee's report entitled Inquiry into Australia's Defence Relationships with Pacific Island Nations. And I ask leave of the House to make a short statement in connection with the report. Is leave granted from the member for Ballarat? Leave is granted, Deputy Thank the Speaker. Member for Ballarat, the member for Fisher. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Australia is historically and indelibly linked to its neighbours in the Pacific Islands. Our shared history of endurance and mutual assistance during times of major international conflict, natural disaster, climate change, and pandemic has forged links with our, with our Pacific Island family which go beyond statehood and diplomacy. Our people-to-people -people links forged over centuries is at the core of this deep understanding and defence relationships play a significant role in creating and maintaining this unique connection. Defence and security challenges faced in the Pacific are now more prevalent and complex than ever before. It behoves all members of our Pacific family to be aware of emerging issues and to face them together in an organised, collaborative and coordinated manner. As a regional medium power, Australia bears significant responsibility for creating the environment and providing the means to achieve just this. From fisheries management, protection and surveillance, to humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, intelligence collection and sharing, climate change and the global pandemic Australia's defence organisation stands ready to play its part in the Pacific step up. There is, however, more to be done. As the committee heard throughout the conduct of the inquiry, there are several existing and proven defence initiatives and programs which contribute significantly to the Pacific step up. These include the long standing defence cooperation program and the Pacific Maritime Security Program. The committee also heard that there are ways to improve these initiatives, as well as new and innovative ways to forge, deepen and strengthen ties between members of the Pacific family. This is where the future of Australian defence relationships should be focused. While the conduct of this inquiry was impacted by COVID-19, the submissions received and evidence heard at public hearings was of the highest quality. And the committee thanks all of those contributed, who contributed to it. In particular, the committee thanks uh, those members of the diplomatic corps whom we held a round table with. And the committee is very keen to ensure that that is a, an ongoing uh, uh, arrangement that we make with members of the Pacific diplomatic corps. This report and its recommendations reflect the committee's belief that Australia's defence relationships in the Pacific are extremely important, are becoming increasingly so, and that additional efforts can and should be made to ensure the security of our region in the years to come. Mr Deputy Speaker, I'd like to thank all members of the uh, Defence Subcommittee of the Foreign Affairs, Defence and Trade Joint Standing Committee for their efforts uh, in this inquiry. I'd like to thank all those who made submissions uh, particularly those uh, members of the Diplomatic Corps who took part in that round table. And of course, I'd like to thank uh, members of the Secretariat that worked hard in pulling this report together and also previous members as well. I commend the report to the House. I thank the member for fishing.